If you've seen my video on the MKV, you might have wondered if the same system could be used to make pulse jets. I wanted the same. The answer is yes. This version that you see on screen right now was a fake pulse jet of sorts that used a rocket engine instead of a jet. But you'll see later on that I did actually manage to get a jet-based pulse jet to work. And it works pretty well, actually. Here's the first version I made with an actual jet engine. As you can probably guess, it uses the same system of off-time, on-time and master as is used in the MKV. If you want more information on that, then check out the MKV video, because I explained it in more detail there. Uh, but essentially, the issue is, as you can probably guess, that while you know the pulse jet does pulse, the uh, spool up time kind of averages out the pulsing, which means that it doesn't actually pulse a lot because it only goes down a little bit and then it goes back up and then it goes down and it's honestly pretty sad <laughs> pretty pathetic i did also try an alternate version where instead of changing the thrust it instead physically toggled the engine on and off however that also didn't work so like you can see it, the thrust limiter is going back and forth and back and forth and the thrust does alternate between about 59 and 68 but um it's not really super obvious that that's happening. Like, it's hard to tell. Uh, I also had, you know, it, you can probably guess by the, the way the craft looks, but it's very, like, the thrust is very much trying to push it nose, push its nose down. But I wanted it to look like a pulse jet aircraft, which usually have this sort of design, so, you know. It's a compromise I'm willing to make, but if we lower the throttle, then it does actually start to look a bit more like a pulse jet. I mean, it's not super obvious, but you can kind of see it does pulse a bit more. Actually, arguably, that's about the same amount of pulsing, but I guess because it's a greater percentage of it. Uh, but then you don't get enough thrust and it starts to nosedive, so... So yeah, no, it's, it's not very good, this version. Oh, and I'm losing control. So this is the version which toggles the engine on and off, and if I just throttle it up, then you'll notice that... You know, it is... it is pulsing. Wow. I... I don't know what I did this time that was different, but... I guess somehow this works. I mean, not super well. The thrust is pretty bad. But it does, does seem to work. It's uh, very strange, actually. Okay, I'm gonna change some things. Wow. You know what? Uh, I'm glad that I've tested this again, because it's just suddenly decided to work perfectly. So yes, you can do it with the rocket engines, but apparently you can also do it with jets, so that's pretty cool. I'll be putting all the craft files shown in this video, plus the MKV, on my Discord server, so if you want to play around with them, feel free to join and download them. I hope you don't mind this shorter video whilst I work on getting the larger, more ambitious ones done. They're taking a bit more time than I hoped, but they should be done soon enough. Thanks for watching.